Monday, babies. I'm your host with the most, holding it down from coast to coast, smooth as the butter that you put on your toast. The one, the only, money flipping Matt Richards, aka Matt was funny. It's friends three, friends themed trivia tonight, and we have that visual twist that we promised you, babies. Okay, it's gonna get twisty with the visuals. It's a little different than your normal game. I'm gonna give you 12 questions, but I'm gonna show you a video clip first that'll help you out with the question. Okay, as soon as the clip is done, you got 10 seconds to answer the question. Oh yeah, bang, bang, bang. Questions are still gonna start out easy, but they get harder than setting up a shrimp tank in the middle of the winter. Yeah, I don't know if y'all know this, I was working on a shrimp tank. That's just a little bit about my life. Get all the questions right. You and whoever's left is taking home a piece of that prize. That's right, tonight we got 50 million points. That's to help you level up super duper fast. Yes, 50 million points. Last season, millions of age cuties earned billions of points helping them win big bucks. So, we brought them back. For every point earned by age quizzes this season, the prize is gonna keep on building and building and building and building to the season finale at the end of February. So let's, uh, let's check in on that prize, shall we? Gonna check our prize. Woo! $54,200! Dang, Daniel! That's big. Yeah, it's really big. You win points by answering questions correctly, sharing to social media from the HQ app, and this season, you can even earn bonus points for winning the game. Yeah, points help you reach levels. Leveling up gives you free passes. A free pass lets you get a question wrong and stay in the game. The higher your level, the more free passes you have. You can climb as high as level 10, okay? You feel me? All the way up to level 10. That means you only have to answer a few questions correctly to win HQ for the entire season. And this season, I promise you, we're giving away more money than we did last season, all right? So brace yourselves. Also, you're gonna want an extra life. Okay, and an eraser to help you stay in the game after you get a question wrong. You can buy one now if you see it on your screen. All right, so just click it and get it. There you go. Also, uh, erasers eliminate one of the wrong answers, giving you basically a 50-50 chance of getting it right. Remember, you can only use one of these per game and not on the final round, okay? Quick, before we start, tomorrow we're doing 80s theme trivia. Funky Fresh, it's quizzes. That's 9 p.m. tomorrow night. Now who's ready to get to the quizzing, huh? Nothing to it, but to HQ it, let's kick it off with question number one. Uh, here we go, babies. Getting right on into it. What name does Ross accidentally say next? Check it out. Now Ross, repeat after me. I, Ross. I, Ross. Take the Emily. Okay, so I'm looking for what? What name Ross accidentally says next? Marcel, Rachel, or Gunther? What's it gonna be? Huh? Just a little hint, this is season four, episode 24, y'all. Yeah. All right, well, the answer that we were looking for was uh, Rachel. Yeah. Take thee, Rachel. Family. Awkward. If you're getting married, don't be a Ross, okay? Get the name right. 504,431 of y'all got that one. You're moving on to question number two. Here we go. Oh, wait a second, big news. I gotta tell y'all this. Next week, we're doing something that's never been done before, okay? So get ready to rethink everything you thought you knew about animation. This is gonna change history. It's a special HQ event live from Down Under, Australia, this Wednesday, in celebration of the Lego Movie 2. That's this Wednesday. Scott is going, no, where no host has gone before, to present HQ trivia in a way that's never been done before. We got $75,000 up for grabs. A handful of lucky players are gonna win rare limited edition collectible capsules. That is a lot of words to say. Rare limited edition collectible capsules. All right. Question number two, whoop de doo here we go. Who is secretly in bed with Chandler during this scene? Look at it. I'm getting married today, woo! Morning, Ross. I'm getting married today. Yeah, y'all. Oh, woo -hoo! All right, your options are Janice, Monica, or Joanna. Who is in the bed with Chandler during this scene that we just showed you? 
Okay. Yeah. I mean, I want to know your favorite Friends moments in the chat. I would argue this is one that's, that's definitely up there. Season 4, episode 24. The answer is Monica. Let's take a look. You think you knew I was here? <laughs> oh, man, freaky dinky. Under the sheets. 505,183 got that one right. You're moving on to question number three. Let's go to work. What does Ross famously yell repeatedly in this scene? Ah. All right, okay. There we go. All right, ready? Pivot, hey Phoebes, or Unagi? What does he famously yell repeatedly in the scene we just showed you? Huh? All right. Should we show you? We're gonna show you first? Okay, let's look. Turn. Okay. Turn. Turn. Uh, uh, I don't think we can turn anymore. Pivot, y'all. He was yelling out, pivot. David Schwimmer, he's a great yeller. And he yells to great effect when trying to get that couch upstairs. And while he starts with turn, he soon moves on to pivot. Yes. I think that is season five, episode 16. 491,000. 68 of you are feeling great on your way to question number four. About to give you some more. Here we go. What food does Brad Pitt's character demand right after this revelation? Apparently you were um, a little mean to him in high school. A little mean? You made my life miserable. I'm, I'm, I had no idea. I'm sorry. Is it Christmas candy, yams, or trifle? All right. Christmas candy, yams, or trifle? Hey kids, did you know that Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt used to be married? Huh? Yeah, hence the end joke about him being in the I Hate Rachel Green Club. It lands, lands a little differently now. This is from season nine, episode eight. Let's see what the answer is. Well, you should be. Screw it, bring on the yams. He wanted yams, baby! Get that man some yams! Put your little marshmallows on top. 418,187 are moving on to ah, 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 question five, question five, ah, 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 question five, ah, 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 You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all see, but I could, obviously I had to read this first before you saw, cause then that's a giveaway if we just played the credits. Yeah. <laughs> okay, dokie. Huh, let's take a look. Ooh, there's your answer right there. It was Rachel, babies. Okay, if you got this wrong, I'm sorry that no one told you life was gonna be this way. Also, who sits on a random city couch? That's nasty. That's how you get a... Uh... That's a savage question. Ooh. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. 206,000 of you thought Monica was the first one to get bed bugs on that dirty couch in front of that fountain. Mmm, cooties. They threw it out for a reason, because it's trash, but then you won't go sit on it. That's nasty. Okay, question number six. Here we go. What announcement puts an end to this argument right here? Would you all stop yelling in our apartment? You are ruining moving day for us. Will you stop calling it your apartment? It is our apartment. No, it's not. It's not it's Okay, so you saw them arguing, right? But what announcement put an end to it? Was it Ross and Rachel hooking up, Phoebe's pregnant, or Joey's hungry? One of these announcements got everybody to stop doing what they were doing. All right, let's see. We gonna, we gonna check it out, revisit this from season four, episode 12. Guys, you guys, you're gonna have a baby. They're gonna have a baby. Oh, oh my God. That's so, that's so emotional. My sister's having my baby. Everybody's excited about Phoebe being a surrogate, even though the, the group hug looks dangerous. 
Yeah, 197,469 of y'all got that one right. Phoebe was pregnant, everybody stopped fighting. It was a beautiful moment. Oh my goodness, I'm getting choked up. Time for question seven. Here we go. What does Ross say he's going to make for dinner here? You know Check what we should do? Calm ourselves? <laughs> no. We should all have dinner. Yes, we'll do it tomorrow night. I'll cook. He's about to make some food. What's he gonna make? Is it fajitas, nachos, or tamales? Fajitas, nachos, or tamales? He's making one of them. Oh yeah. Now Ross is fine with Joey and Rachel dating. He's fine. Totally fine. The only thing that would be weird is if they don't like Mexican food. Because he's making fajitas. Oh, Check it the out. The only thing weird would be if someone didn't like Mexican food because I'm making fajitas. <laughs> fajitas. Yeah, nothing, nothing wrong with a little fajita. Fajitas, y'all. Getting our grub on 158,776. Got that one right. You're breezing through this quiz on your way to a lot of points, on your way to the shmoney. Let's go to work. Question number eight. Here we go. Who is actually at the door in this scene? Take a look. Oh, God. That's Chandler. He's going to come by and borrow some candles for his big date. Oh, okay. Season four, episode 20. Who's at the door, y'all? Is it Paul, Joshua, or Tag? Who's it gonna be, Paul, Joshua, or Tag? We gonna see. All right, you know what, let's take a look. I do! <laughs> Joshua! Oh, Joshua! Chandler would have been okay, but instead, Rachel ends up sending an extremely weird and specific message by appearing in a wedding dress in front of Joshua. Oh yeah, 118,305 are staying alive. Moving on to question number nine. Let's go to work. In this clip, Monica is confounded that Joey doesn't care about what? They wouldn't have put it there if it didn't do something. How can you not care? Like this. Her outfit, wall switch, or Chandler's birthday. What does Joey not care about in the scene that I just showed you? That little clippy clip. What's it gonna be? I mean, it's been there the whole time. He just doesn't care. So, uh, let's take a look, see. Joey, let me ask you a question. This has been driving me crazy. What does this light switch do? Oh, uh, nothing. Did it drive you crazy to have a switch and not know what it did? I know what it did. Nothing. <laughs> he don't care about the wall switch, y'all. The switch on the wall. Yes, 118,571 are having fun. The game's almost done. But let's go with question number 10. Here we go, my friends. Time to get it in. Let's go to work. Can you tell I was listening to the cha-cha slide on my way to HQ today? I can't. Let's go to work. Slide to the left. All right, sorry. Crisscross. I remember I was on a cruise ship, and they said Charlie Brown, and everybody looked at me because they didn't know what the dance was. I could have made up anything, and it would have been the dance book. Here's question 10. Here we go. After watching this video, which character tells Ross, I can't believe you did that? Is it Rachel, Monica, or Chandler? I can't believe you did that. Who's it gonna be? All right, y'all, he's our lobster. Ross was all ready to take Rachel to prom, but got usurped, even though they all look shocked. It's Monica, who can't believe her big brother Ross had a sweet side. Check it out. I can't believe you did that. Yeah, well. It's just every now and then, I'll be here and something, you know, just touches my spirit. That was, that was, that was so sweet. 68,840. I'm moving on to question number 11. All dogs go to heaven. Let's get it. Q11, here we go. What does Rachel try to order on the phone here? Check it out. Whoop, okay. Hello, Vegas. Yeah. What was she trying to get? More alcohol, a deck of cards, or double pizza? What's it gonna be? Hmm? 
We'll see. I'm going to show you. You know what? Let's take a look. We would like some more alcohol, and you know what else? We would like some more beers. It'd probably be better if they had more cards and less alcohol. But that's not what it ended up happening. More alcohol, babies. 71,560. Already for Q12. Here we go. Question 12. What's that smell? Smells like money. Follow me at Matt Was Funny. That's my name on social media. Matt Was Funny. Cause it smells like money. Mm. Here we go. Q12, the final question of the game for all the marbles, babies. Let's go to work. What is the very last thing the friends talk about before this moment? Memories, coffee, or friendship? We gonna see. Friends gave us 10 years of laughs and even managed a happy ending. Yeah, before Chandler and Monica leave the city, they agreed to all get coffee together. Yeah, they really... We got some time. Okay, should we get some coffee? Sure. Where? <laughs> really tied it together there. Yeah, season 10, episode 18. Coffee was the answer. If you got coffee, you just won HQ. 68,415 of y'all are winners, baby! Woo! Oh yeah, you did it. Look at that, there's a star falling. Two stars, oh, the, star, the star's a point. Big old chunky points just falling into your phone. Oh yeah. All right, well, congratulations again to all of our winners. It was a whole lot of y'all. All right, I'm gonna shout y'all out in a second, cause you know, that's what I do at the end of every game. I just be like, hey, who is who, who is the winner? And then I, you know, I shout you out. So basically, um, yeah, I'm proud of you guys. Y'all won the game. And if you never won before, this is an especially happy time for you because you did it. I'm not stalling. Low key, a little bit. You did it, babies! <laughs> uh, yo, those points that you guys got, they help you level up. So you can win the big bucks. We got lots of surprises in store this season. Remember, we're giving away more money than we did last season. So keep your phones close, okay? Keep them close. Lock them on your hip. And don't forget, HQ Words is coming up right after this. All right? I'll see y'all when I see y'all. My name is Matt Richards. I've been your host. Hit me up at Matt Was Funny. Don't forget, Wednesday, the big show that's gonna change animation forever. This will be historic, okay? It's a special HQ event live from down under, down in Australia. Scott's about to do some craziness. It's gonna be wild. And uh, y'all don't wanna miss it. Again, $75,000 up for grabs. It's lit. I don't know how much I have to express that to y'all. So I'll see y'all. I love you so much. Mwah. <sighs> Matt Was Funny on the social medias, okay? Hit it up. I'll see y'all for that. All right? Cool. Let me go.